Hi, I'm Tiny Girl, and today we're going to be making homemade pizza. And click the subscribe button down below to help me out, and click the big thumbs up down below. So, here's our ingredients for making the dough for our pizza. Mm -hmm. We're going to do... Flour, hot water, yeast, oil, salt, sugar, and basil basil and garlic powder garlic powder all right you don't this right here the basil and garlic powder is optional we're adding this to give more flavor to our dough and this is actually about four cups of flour uh, we may need more uh, i may not use all this it's about three and a half to four cups you will actually be needing uh, you'll probably need more if the dough gets too sticky. And this is a cup and a half of water. It's around 110 degrees. And right here is our olive oil. It is two tablespoons of olive oil. You got two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. So Tiny Girl is going to go ahead and help me. And we're going to go ahead and mix all our dry ingredients first. And this is our mixer. And you got to have an adult for this. Yes. So, kids, this is where your mommy and daddy need to help you out. But you can do this part. So, tiny girl, go ahead and dump um, most of the flour in here. Not all of it, but here. I'll help you out with the flour. We're going to do it this way. So, Let my dad pour. It's because we're not going to use all of it. We're going to use the majority of it. Is that enough? Almost. All right, so that's about that's about three cups of flour right there. It's about a cup left. Um, tiny girl, go ahead and dump the the salt and the sugar in. I'll pour at the same time. And let's go ahead and dump in our garlic powder and our basil in. You don't have to use both. You can use one or the other. And we're going to put in our yeast. So. You go ahead and cut this open real quick. And you don't want to cut it, kids. You need your parents to. Okay. And we'll go ahead and start the mixer to just mix our dry ingredients. So let's go ahead and plug this in, put this down, all right, again, you don't put your hands in here, so let's turn on slow, just to get everything going. Yeah, and then we'll start pouring the rest. Yes, yeah, so we'll start pouring the rest of it in. While it's going, let me get a spatula. Because we may want to stir it and get off the sides. Alright, let's check it and see. Get it all mixed in here together. Okay, it's, tiny girl, can you go ahead and put the oil in here? It's starting to look great right now. Whoa. You got to be careful when you pour the oil. It may splash. Let's go ahead and scrape, scrape it, out. it out. Okay, go ahead and get the water now. I'll put it in the sink. Let's go ahead and pour the water. Can I? Should be around 110 degrees. Go ahead and about a cup and a half. And I'll go ahead and put the rest, all this stuff. All right, we're going to turn on the mixer and let it all mix together here. It should all come together. And you just, what you want is to see the dough pull off the sides of the bowl. And remember kids, do not stick your fingers in here. Because they can go and break your finger.
Well, let's take a look at our dough and see how it is. If you're seeing it's not too sticky, it's a little sticky. It's not bad. You can add a little bit more. And this is going to be... A little bit more uh, flour to uh, make it uh, less sticky. And so you want to add at least uh, just a, a teaspoon at a time. You don't want to add too much. So I, it is a little sticky, so let me get my... Teaspooner. Teaspoon. And, and I'll start putting the flour in. How many scoops? See here. So we're going to just throw just a little bit in there. To see, make sure we don't get it too sticky. If it, you find your dough being too dry, you want to add water, teaspoon at a time. Yep, because you don't want to get way dry. So now let's take a look at it now. So you can see where it's actually pulling off. Still a little sticky. So. Let's go ahead and add some more. As you can see, it's still sticky. You can do this by hand if you want. Alright, now let's check it. Now not sticky. Well, it's still a little sticky. You can see, so, look, see how it's starting to stick to my hands. Yep. We probably may end up using all this, but we'll see here. Mm -hmm. Let's go add two because it is kind of really sticky. Ooh, it's too high. Now it looks starting to look a little better. All right, so now let's check it. Wow. That's, yeah, that's nice. So you can see, you can see how it is. The, the dough, it's not, it's not sticking to my hands or anything like that. It's perfect. Can I so see? what we're gonna do? Yes, touch right there. That part's gonna be a little sticky, but yeah. touch right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move, wow. move this. Uh, it's a little sticky. You can see on my phone. So we are okay with that. Move this out of the way and we're gonna go, we're gonna dust this with flour, we're gonna meet it, knead it for a couple minutes here. We're gonna like actually, actually not that not even a couple minutes, just a little bit. So we're gonna We're gonna like spread it out, get the dough, make the circle shape. Okay, can you go ahead and spread the flour? Yes. Okay. Wow, this looks cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you, as you, uh, no, we don't wanna pull it apart. Okay, as you can see, you can start seeing our flavoring in here. So you can see the basil uh, in the dough. So what we're gonna do is just gonna fold this over. Can I do it? And push it in. I'll let you do it here in a second. I just wanna show you how to do it. So you fold it over, push it in. And, and start fold playing it. with it. Trying don't to I don't want you to rip it or anything, okay? I won't. Okay. Okay, so if you need more flour, Can get your hands all floury. Also it doesn't stick to you or anything like that. Okay. No, Alright, you I ready? Go? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Go. Alright, so tiny girl is going to squeeze it and fold it over and squeeze it again. Why she does this. I'm gonna go and get a bowl, and we're gonna put some oil in a bowl for the bread to, or for the dough to, to rise, to uh, relax and rise. Yep, like it's relax, but we relax. Spread it out. We don't want to rip it, so I will grab some sugar, flour, and put it all over it, so I don't get sticky. And right now. I am. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour a little bit of oil in here. Yep. And make. Okay, and you want to, the oil to go all over the edging of the bowl. So I'll keep doing this. You know that it's starting to get the flour off my hand. Be 
because it's sticky. So I'll go ahead and get some more flour, rub it all over my hands. So you take a basin brush here and take the oil all the way around the edging here. Okay, so let me take a look and see what we got here. So, How I'm doing. My dad. Yeah. My dad's going to help me. So we're going to go ahead and get this all nice and neat. Yeah, can I start helping part of it? All right. All right, we need... Let's see here. Whoops. Just, you can see right here where the, the dough is nice and it bounces back and spongy. So we're going to go ahead and put it right in the oil. And we're going to get it all covered. Yep, I'm going to just keep threading at this. And now we're going to cover this and let it sit for one hour. Okay, it should double in size. So again, just let it covered and uh, put in a warm spot so it can double in one hour. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so we have our dough here. Uh, it, as you see, it's, it is bigger. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put more flour on here because we're gonna mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna cut it in half because yeah. this should be able to make two 14 inch rounds. Pizzas. Pizzas. So we're gonna do a. We don't know where the pan is, so we're. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put flour here, and go ahead and spread that around, tiny girl. So we're gonna. I'm the spreader. All right, you ready? Hold on, let me get all over and let me. All here, right. Put your so hand. we're going to. You know, one second here. We're going to cut this in half here. So let's get this. Go ahead and get that out of the way, please. And I will right. get a knife. And, and cut I'm this in half. Until we. So. It cuts slowly. And kids, you do not want to cut with a knife. So I want. We want you to do is cut with the parent. We okay. Use some. So. So you want me to start. Bring some on your side. Yeah. Let me get a little more flour. Okay, on your side. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so let me just set this one up side. We're gonna make one at a time. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a round pizza. So let's go ahead a and big one. get this going here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start just start pushing out to the edge. You can use a rolling pin if you like. But I'm going to try it, use my hands first, and then I'll have Tiny Girl help me out as soon as we, as soon as I get this going here. So we're going to just push, push out. Let's get a little more flour on here, here. So I don't want to stick. Yep, it's starting to get oily. All right, so go ahead, Tiny Girl, just go ahead, and what I want you to do is just push and try to stretch this out try not to rip it okay just try to stretch this out just like that okay. all the way around make a circle and we get a rolling pin see if that's going to help us out any yep oops made a crack try not rip it but i do it's starting to rip you see that rip just pick up some and just squeeze it together and all right let me see how this goes okay all right, so we're going to go ahead and get this going. Try to work this, get that hole taken care of. All right, tiny girl, go ahead and uh, do around the, some of the edges. Get it, don't push too hard. And also, you want to turn it. We want to keep it as a circle. Not, 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 not like that. Don't turn it like while it's on there. And you pick it up like that and roll it this way. And then pick it up again and roll it that way. Okay. And see right here? And then roll it that way. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to try to make a crust. We're going to pinch the sides a little bit. Just like this. Okay. Me. Let's go ahead and pinch it to make a crust. Uh, to, hold, to hold everything in. Yep. We don't want anything to fall out. Okay, and Tiny Girl, can you go get me a fork, please? Sure thing. 
and a large spoon. All right, so tiny girl is going to poke hole, uh, poke all the way in, in the middle of this. So I'm going around the edging. So what are we going to do with the pokes? The pokes will help the dough not make bubbles. Because if you don't do this, what will happen is the dough will bubble up and all your toppings will go off the bubble and you'll just have a big bubble of nothing on it. Okay, so right here, see this? I want you to poke holes right there. Keep going? Yep, poke holes right there. Okay, and my dad is going to go pour sauce on it. And we also, we're going to have uh, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and we have Italian sausage that I cooked because what we're going to do is we just want to heat the, cook the, the dough and yes. melt the cheese uh, to get the pizza. Um, if you put raw toppings on it, you will have to cook it longer. But we're just going to uh, cook it uh, just for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we really don't need that much time here. So, all right, let's go ahead and put some sauce on here. And can we... And we're going to go around to the edge. And this is where we're going to, we want to keep our crust. Okay, go ahead. Tiny girl, sprinkle some cheese on it everywhere. Okay. Keep the bag up. Whoops. And make sure you don't want to get in the flour. We like cheesy pizza, so this cheese this pizza is gonna have a lot of cheese on it. Yep, so we're gonna get like lots of cheese. Alright, that should be good. And now to the pepperoni. Thank you. You're welcome. That cheese taste is really good. You can try any type of cheese if you want. You can try yellow cheese. You can try white cheese that we make. We have. You can try any cheese on your pizza. Go ahead and uh, take some of this and go ahead and put and you the can pepperonis put, around the edge. We're just. You can make different kinds as different if you want different kinds of what we made. We made, we're gonna be making a pepperoni sausage, pepperoni cheese sausage pizza. And that's one is my favorite. Okay, so right here we have the Italian sausage. It's cooled off from when I cooked it. We're just gonna sprinkle this on. Okay, so a little bit more sausage on here. That looks really good. Yep, and it's starting to make me really hungry. We have, we have the oven at 450 degrees. And we're gonna do a little bit more cheese in here just, to, just a little bit to help hold it together as it melts. Okay, so now we're going to put this in the oven at 450 degrees and for about 10, 15 minutes and we'll be back to see how it goes. Now we're done. So now I'm going to try it and see how good it is. It's really good. I hope you had fun making pizza with me. Bye, and my daddy. Bye.